Okay, so this has been one of the craziest, and I mean craziest, two weeks of my entire life. Okay, so my name is Claudine, and uh, y'all know me as Mrs. C's for Mrs. C's Affordable Travel. But y'all, I'm not talking about no cruises today. I'm not talking about affordable travel necessarily today. I'm just, I'm just hollering at you about life. Like y'all can see, this is real rough. I'm looking rough, right? Okay. So, unfortunately, we have been dealing with a bit of an issue at the house that has um, forced us out of it. So right now, and I'm gonna switch it so you playing. I'm, I'm real about this. Right now, we are living in a hotel. Living in a hotel. Now, I like to travel, but having to uproot my family and go to a hotel for at least a week um, after having been separated for two weeks from my kids has been horrible. So let me tell y'all what happened. It's a story time right now. And it's going to tie in eventually to the travel channel. I don't know, but I'm just going to tell y'all what happened. So um, where we stayed at had some bad weather um, and there was an issue with mold. Yep, y'all, mold. Um, as I've stated before, my, my children, I have asthmatic children. One of them is highly allergic, and so we noticed that she started sneezing when she entered into specific rooms of the house. We started pulling stuff out, trying to figure out what's going on. She was sneezing, sneezing and coughing, and we found it, you know, and the process started to get it eradicated. However, um, it, there was a delay because, again, more bad weather came in. So now we're at this point where she had to be removed from the house to go stay with family. We were okay to stay there because we're not as, we're not sensitive to it. And it wasn't toxic. Thank God. Oh Lord. Thank God. It was not toxic. So we're grateful for that. But she did have to be removed from the home. And so did her sister because they're both technically asthmatic children. Just one has a higher allergy to it. We had her tested years ago. So we know what triggers her asthma attacks. What we've had to do was... Now that the work has started to eradicate the problem, which we're told is going to be about a week worth of work, um, we are now staying in a hotel. <laughs> which is interesting. The travel agent having to live in a week in a hotel because, you know, your home is being um, worked on. I've never been in this situation before. Never would have thought I would have been in this situation. I just want to come out and just say, hey, um, thanks a lot for supporting the channel. We are at last check 312 subscribers. I truly appreciate every single subscriber I have. We have as a channel when we started this, all we wanted to do was to show people that number one, you can travel and not spend a whole lot of money doing it. You can budget it. You can plan it out. And number two, those people who are afraid of getting on a cruise ship, who are afraid of leaving their, their nest, their home. It's okay to go out there and make new friends, have new adventures, experience new foods and new things. That's what we wanted for our family and that's what we wanted to give to you. And recognizing the fact that sometimes there's a barrier because people people think that you know you have to spend all of this money. No, you don't. It's okay. Don't let nobody tell you that because you're traveling on maybe Allegiant and not American Airlines that you ain't doing it. No, you're doing it because if you're in the same city they are, it doesn't matter how you got there. What matters is that you got there.